Give no run here. We did not win the die roll. Gonna be on the draw. It's okay. This hand is terrible. I'm gonna throw this one back. This is better. A little, still a little slow on the play. I think we're gonna keep it. Throw back Hapatra. Runcore. Hello. How you doing? Welcome. Cool, cool. So it looks like Merc tied, possibly. Okay, hello, Haywire Might. We'll just play out the Catacombs, pass the turn here. Could be a lot of things. Okay, it looks like Zoo. Any spice today, sir? Three Bowmaster, one Scavenging Ooze in the main board. Red, green, scion, okay. At least no ley line. Let's get a mortuary, always yield. That's not bad, but I actually don't think we want this right now. I think I'm going to put that in the graveyard. I think we need lands. Okay, we drew into another one. I just knew there was another one on top. It's that easy. Okay. So I could play out the... A wire my I think it's just too I think I'd rather just save it though for when they play a ley line or something. So I think I'll just do that. We have no cord either, so it's not really worth it for me to run out the haywire might. So I'll just do this and pass the turn. One skews and endurance. Oh yes, yes. So one endurance in the uh, extra endurance in the sideboard. And then we moved the scavenging use to the main board and we took out a bowmaster. So that's what happened. Okay, done. That's uh, that's those are some scions, all right. That's good. I still want to save the haywire might for a binding. Hmm. I don't want to. I really don't want to like waste. Oh, this is tough. So I don't want to kill my wall to kill one of the scions. I think I do have to sacrifice the Haywire Might here, because I, I definitely want to keep my wall. So, let's start by playing the Grist. Actually, let's start by playing the Haywire Might. Let's play the Grist. It's a down tick. Sacrifice here to destroy that. And yield. Hopefully they have to, or hopefully they respect the Grist and they spend a turn to attack it. And then we have a turn off. We can kind of develop our board a little bit. They do. Cool. Okay. I wish I had a Legion's End in my hand right now. Jesus, come on. Land is good. Because now we can go for Grist plus Bowmasters. I think I have to play the Bowmasters first. Just ping them. Another one. Scion do be big and dumb. Down tick. Sacrifice here, target one of those again. Oh shit, never mind. <laughs> I can't use Legion's End. No, no, I know, I know. I thought, listen, when you see Scion of Draco and they only have two lands, your mind is like, oh, it costs two mana. It can get hit by Legion's End. I know, I know. I know how the card works. Let's see what they do here. They have a five cards in hand still, which is pretty scary. A lightning bolt, goodbye, Grist. Okay. Cannot block. Blue. Shock. They have three cards in hand. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. Oh. 
Of course. Of course. 4-4 four, four, Murktai with Hexproof. It's kind of annoying. Okay, Yawgmoth number 3 is not what I wanted to see here. But we're going to play it out. They are representing a binding, which would be annoying. I think we just have to go for this here. I think I value my wall more than my Bowmasters at the moment. I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to do this again. Not a bad pickup, but definitely too expensive. We're going to be taking... Oh man, we're going to be taking six down to three. Okay. Red, blue, expressive. Okay. You got it. This looks like a more blue-focused zoo deck. Interesting. Land exiled. I'm going to swing at us for six. We got under three. We're dead to tribal flames or lightning bolt. Play the land. Kavu, okay. Not dead. I am going to fetch here. Going to get Dryad Arbor. That's Murktide and Zoo Squish together. I see. Alright, we're going to play out the Queen. I think that's the only thing we can do right now, really. Target here, sacrifice here. Always yield. Hmm, interesting. Well, I need to draw another land. Target here, sacrifice here. Well, I drew a land, but shock land, unfortunately. So now we're just dead in the air. Right, there's nothing I can do here. I can play the shock and then play halfling. I go to two, I go to one, and then back up to three. I guess I can just see what I'm going to draw. Back up to two, actually. I oh, know, back up to three. Damn, okay. Shmeet, hello, Bradley. They play Scolding and Counterspell through. Good to know. Okay, so this is like Murktide Zoo. So I guess I should bring in. I'm definitely bringing in Pick Your Poison. Pick Your Poison. Oh, this is really awkward, huh? I should bring in Endurances, I guess. Pick your Poison, Reclamation, Sage, Endurance. I don't know what else. I guess, do I want to bring in, like, one Force? And then uh, Zoo. We can cut a cord. We can cut the Bowman's. Cut the Ooze. Oh, I guess Ooze is good here. Cut a Gilded Goose and cut a Strangle Root. Right, like this. We're kind of in the dark for this deck, so, you know, we just got to go by feeling. I feel, I got to feel it in the air. Um, I think this hand is fine. We're going to keep this one. It has an Accelerated Court of Calling. It has a Pick Your Poison to answer a Ley Line or a Scion. Oh, Leyline, hello.
Sawa Terex. Sawa Terex. Oh, I see. Hell yeah. You're sick. Oops. Go through. Very nice. My favorite token, I will show you. Rag bro. Why do they keep in Ragavan, man? Oh my god, it tilts me. Hey, dude. Whatever. All right, sure. You can have my wall of roots. I'll put it on top. Monkey move. All right, so I love this one. The insect token. The ones that they did like a long time ago. I think it has like the flavor text and everything. I use those for grist. I think they're very sick. From the hive? No. Ooh, dude, the hive. The hive is secretly one of my favorite magic cards of all time. I love the hive. The hive is so freaking cool. It's just it's just the way that the original card is worded. It makes it so cool. It's it's totally bad. It's so bad, but I love the card. Yield until end step. Also, this token. This token is sick as hell. The treasure, the Liliana treasure token. Very nice. I will block here. Okay. Surveil one. Ah. I'll keep it on top. Uh, they could have a stern scolding here, I guess, but um, I'm still going to go for it. Okay, cool. They did not. Run it back. Bradley, you know Dr. Kevin? Not playing the wall looks bad for the opponent. Yeah. Maybe they're hoping maybe they're hoping to draw out of it with the Kavu, but yeah. You do? Yeah, he has a real Liliana token. That one, the one that I have is just a, a replication a replica. But he has a real one. I'm a, oh. Oh shit. A real, the real, the real Liliana token is serialized. That one, the one I have is uh, just a replica. It's metal, but it's just a replica. We'll try this. Um, the real one, there's only 150 in the world. Who made it? I don't know. It was some, it was, dude, Asia gets the best tokens, bro. I don't know why they get the best tokens, but it was someone, someone in Asia. It was like an exclusive, uh, exclusive, exclusive, exclusive event out there. And they're the ones who got it. But somehow Kevin was able to get his hands on one through probably through secondary market or something. I don't, I can't look at the. I mean, I guess I guess I could go look at the the artist name, but first totem, sure. High roller, yes sir. Uh, I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna hold on to my force here. Play out wall of roots. I'm going to see if they play a Scion this turn. Ooh, no Scion, okay. I just knew I was going to draw into it. Um, I could play the Cauldron first. 
I think I do want to play the Cauldron first to bait out a Counterspell. I don't want to just run Reclamation Sage in there. Cool. Edging Maze. <laughs> um. Hmm. Let me see what's on top. I'll put that on top. So I'm gonna play out. They don't have double blue yet for counter spells, so I'm gonna play out Pendlehaven. I'm just gonna slam Shieldred. Hopefully, they play a leyline binding, and then we can deal with that. With the force. Red, green, white. Oh. Well, they should have done that before I put the shield into play. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did you see the new beanstalk, but for free spells in the cowboy set? No? Send me that link. Post that link in the chat. Let me see that. Bayline Binding, you got it. Yeehaw. I'm going to eat their land here. I will attempt to force here and here, exiling the oh, Wall of Roots. Oh! It's that easy, baby. Oh, that guy. Hey, wrap it up. Get your goofy ah uh, deck out of my face. Thank you. All right. Game number two here. One that I would you like to play first. Boom. Yes, always. What do we got? Uh, a little wonky with the Dried Arbor Zulaport, but on the play, I think it's okay. I'll keep you to it. Jealous Mind Crusher. <laughs> The green is just so... You can't play with Yogg without green. You need the green so bad. Like, imagine Yogg-Moth without Young Wolf. That's, what are you talking about? Young Wolf is the most goaded card in the deck. One of the most goaded cards in the deck. What do we got? Okay. Gorios. Esper Gorios. I need a Cauldron. I need a, I need a lot of things right now. I need a scavenging ooze. Scavenging ooze, as some people say. I'm gonna play that. Not no point in playing out Zulaport. I'm just gonna get in there with the damage. One one for one is on curve. So good. Yield until next end step. There's nothing we can do anyways. Balaji. Okay, they miss. Cool. The mortuary here. I would like to keep that card. That's a pretty good one. Capital G Rift has entered the building. Imagine if Solitude was legendary. It'd be kind of weird. No, Cauldron! Brist! Come on, you're supposed to leave the good cards on top. Man, okay. Gris goofed. You goofed and you gaffed. It's fine. I forgive you. I forgive you. I can't stay mad at you. I could never stay mad at you, Gris. Gris is like your, your pet. Your pet dog or your pet cat that you can't get mad at. They, they like blow up the house. 
They completely eat all, they eat all your clothes. They piss all over the house. But then you're like, oh, I can't be mad at you. I can't, it's not your fault. You're so, it's, you're precious. Precious. Grist, I am literally a pile of books. True. Ah, shit, they hit Atraxa. Okay, well, my opponent will not have Goryo's Vengeance. Uh, oh, okay. Have you still been liking Zulaport? I have. Ugh, bro, come on. Are you going to grief me? Agent, hey, hello, hello. How you doing? I'm doing so good. Well, unfortunately, well, okay, it looks like they either don't have it or they're just going to wait till next turn. But it's pretty likely that they're going to hit it because they have the Falaji. I think I have to down tick and hit the Falaji here because I don't want them to get more look. They have an Ephemerate on the stack. I don't want them to get more looks at a Goryo's Vengeance. So I think it's probably correct to... I'm going to run out the Zulaport. Fahida. What work lessons will we learn today? You're, I don't know. You're going to find out. We're going to find out together. Sacrifice here. Target there. We're playing with three Bowmaster and then one Scavenging Ooze main board. That's the that's the switch up we're doing today. RIP Young Wolf. He, come, he will come back stronger. Don't you worry about it. I'm going to hold up the... I don't think they play Bowmaster, but I guess I'll just hold up the Pendlehaven just in case. Oh, no, no. We have another Endurance in the board. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. Okay. My opponent will not find Goryo's Vengeance. Force of Negation. Okay. Rebound. Okay, they did not find Goryo's Vengeance because they would have cast it at that point, I think. White, blue. They have another Faithful Mending. Yep, it's pretty good. I realized the other day that Faithful Mending is just the opposite of looting. It's faith. It's supposed to be a play on Faithless Looting, but they couldn't make it one mana because that would be obviously broken. My opponent will not find it. No! God damn it. They have one card in hand. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm. Bring back Gristlebrand. Yep. Well, they already played a land for a turn. Not looking too hot right now. Oh, Gris spilling over the cauldron was painful. Oh, would have been so good. Draw seven more, sure. Uh, let's see if we can fix the top of our deck here. Let's see, we need a Miracle Draw. I think it's a Yawgmoth or Bust or a Cauldron.
Yeah, I don't think Rist is gonna do it, actually. I think I need to put that in the graveyard. We can see what they discard. They're probably just gonna discard a bunch of stuff for next turn. Okay, okay. The game's not over yet, baby. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not doing it now to play around Force of Negation. Edging maze, yep. What is this? Okay. Why would they just not go for another Gorio's Vengeance? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll draw 14 cards. I'll cast Grief. Okay, I can see. <laughs> oh my god, man. Ridiculous. Reaminator, bring out Young Wolf, bring out... G risk. Do they bring in Curse Totem? I forgot. I don't think they do. Gorio's Vengeance. No, they don't. <laughs> Bless up. Hey, yo. Yog Father. This one's for you. Nice. 14 cards. Nothing. Nothing. This hand's pretty good. We're going to keep it. Vaporwave Taylor Swift. Is this Taylor Swift? This is Taylor Swift? I don't even know. This sounds okay. Sounds okay to me. It's way plus slow and reaper. Okay. <laughs> oh! Crystal Brand, Crystal Brand, Crystal Brand. Close. They added Tainted Indulgence, that's fine. I think if I want to be, like, safe here. No, I think it's okay. I don't think they're going to subtlety a wall of roots. Almost the most delight. Almost, dude. Yeah, almost. I suspect a prismatic ending. No, no prismatic end. Okay, celestial purge. White, bro. You're playing risk. You're doing some risky business here. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> It happened again! Yes! Yes! 
Give it to me. Give it to me. I would like to take Gristlebrand. <laughs> Dude, again. Yes. Oh my god. Draw seven. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh my god, so silly, dude. Most delightful. The most delightful head. They're saying I should have taken those out. Yeah. Repeat. <laughs> oh my god all right game number three here we did not win the die roll we're gonna be on the draw it's okay um yeah, it's pretty good we're gonna keep it we do need an another black source but i think this is good enough to where you keep it almost every time bloodstained mire do i smell a ragavan mountain it is a ragavan hello hello I remember playing him in Standard back in the Bonfire of the Dam. Oh, God. Bonfire of the Dam. That was also before my time, but gee, I've heard the stories of that card. So silly. Go, go, Gadget. Young Wolf. Uh, yeah, I'll block. Go to draw. I guess we should attack first. Play out the wall of roots and then just play the halfling. Don't know what we're up against here. I thought it was scam, but fetching them fetching a basic mountain is really strange. Scam almost, I don't think Scam even runs a basic mountain. Or if they do, it's only one. Okay, Blood Crypt. This is a Bowmasters. Oh, Fatal Push. Okay, sure. They Fatal Push the Halfling instead of the Wall. Fable? What? Goblin Rabble Master, excuse me. What in the world? What is going on? Geist is pretty good here. So I think I can go what? I can go just Strangle Root Geist and then hold back. Strangle Root, Geist, blah, 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 Strangle Root Geist. I can play Haywire Might too. I guess I might as well. And then we just cord for another Halfling. Just hold back. Right, we'll just block here and block here. And they do nothing. Cord for one. Get the halfling. Okay, and they concede. Okay, before I even play the Yawgmoth. I don't know what we're up against. Um, I'm, I don't even know what to bring in here. I'll bring in a Reclamation Sage, maybe? We saw <laughs> Ragavan, Fatal Push, Goblin Rebel Master. Mardu mid, but I, oh, that doesn't tell me anything though. What do I, what do I even bring in for that? Uh, we're gonna keep this one. Pretty, pretty decent. Hopefully, my opponent doesn't keep in ragavans, as they shouldn't. Thank you. The youngest wolf coming in clutch, anyways. If they did play one, very nice. 
gonna play out the halfling. They might just kill it at end step, but that's fine. We have a cauldron. We also have a young wolf. Okay, so no gold. That's good. What matchups do you like Legion's end? Facing, still facing Rhinos? I mean, it, it is good for Rhinos, but I also like it versus Scam and decks that have Dothy Voidwalker. Ooh, Inquisition. Okay, so you take the Cauldron here. Mirror match? No, it's it, this is not a mirror match. This is anything but a mirror match. Or are you saying you're in a mirror match? Hello, control for days. How you doing? Oh, you're saying it's Legion that is good. Yes, yes, true, true. Also really good at the mirror match. Goblin Rebel Master, you got it. Uh, I'll take one. I will take one. Play it against this earlier today. Oh, please enlighten me. What am I? What am I playing against? Because I have no idea. Get that in the graveyard. Jesus, man, come on. But where the Ember Clee? Okay, well, that's good to know. Okay. Oh, you have to attack with that one. Lamau, that's funny. Well, 100% blocking here. I kind of want to get Dried Arbor. I think I will. Um, my game plan is to play Yawgmoth next turn anyway, so I think having a Dried Arbor in play is probably better. You know, another Young Wolf coming to the rescue. Thank you. Um, hmm. I have to stop them before they go to combat, right? Mm -mm -mm. Stoneforge. Well, let's see. If I let them get two triggers and we have five. I guess I reset right now, just so in case they have removal. Ragavan, sure, I'll block that. Yep. Yep. This is fine. Got to do some grocery shopping, I'll be back later. Nice, have a good time grocery shopping. Go to blocks, we'll block here, we'll block here. And then we're going to kill, we have to kill this one. So we'll do this. That's the list. Okay, thank you. I'll take a look. Oh, of course. I didn't play around the Malkyrie. Whatever. I don't care. I'm not taking eight. Um, interesting. Okay, so we just go for wall here. Counterplay, young wolf. Going 
guess I do it now while they're tapped out. Sacrifice one. I'm not going to reset it. Oh. Well, I can't get Hapatra here. I'm too low. But I am going to Fatal Push this one. Play this. Might have to. I might emergency cord for one or two. We'll see. This martyr list really just racked us plus stone forge mistake. Oh god. Okay. Let's go to blocks here. I think I will sacrifice my young wolf to kill this. I'll block one here. Block one here. I take four. fine and four is not dead or one is not dead ah miran crusader of course of course my mistake should have courted for shielded there i messed up Brr. Protection from black and green. So literally my whole deck. Let me see this list. A mirroring crusader, dude. Jesus Christ, come on. Interesting. Okay. Wait, they have four? Oh, I thought I thought I saw four cauldrons. I'm like, what? So if I play this. There's nothing really I can get. I mean this has protection for my whole deck. I don't know how I can get around that. I don't think I can. Um No, yeah, okay. Interesting. I'm not seeing any artifact hate in the sideboard, though. Hmm. It's like, do I even want to bring in artifact hate, though? They only have two targets. I mean, they have four Stone Forge. I mean, I have a Haywire Might, and I have Reclamation Sage. I think it should be okay. Okay. Let's run it back. This is okay. I think we, we can keep this. I think on the draw, I think we can't keep this, but on the play, I think this is okay. Why do people leave in Ragavan, man? Ay, ay, ay. Two chords. Two chords. Kind of want creatures right now. My next turn's going to be playing Scavenging Use. They probably have a removal spell for it. And then my turn three is going to be playing Grist. Mm, yeah, I think I don't want this. I think I'd rather have like a land or a creature. Young Wolf would be ideal here. Or a wall. Oh! The youngest wolf showing up right when I need him. Thank you very much.
I need a young wolf to top my deck, and then it appears. It appears. That's how it works. Uh, I'll block. You have an undying spell that you would like to use? Nope. Okay. Thoughts? Sure. What would you like to take? So they just take the grist here. Yep. Ragavan number two, you got it. Oh, and I brought a young wolf number two, baby. Uh, I think I'm going to just hold up Cord here for one to go get a Mana Dork so I can play Yawgmoth next turn. Oh. Mm -hmm. Land immediately crack. Playing a Rebel Master? Please play... Oh, thank you. I'll block here, and I'll block here. Always yield. Let's just cord here. Halfling. Fatal push is fine. Play the Yogged Moth. Target here, sacrifice here. Target here, sacrifice here. Always yield. Target here, sacrifice here. Basically looking for an untapped black sword so I can kill the Rebel Master. Not that we really need to. Target here, sacrifice here. Target here, sacrifice here. Just may also just looking for a land in general. Make our land drop for the turn. There we go. Oi. Opponent is in the tank. They do be thinking. And we're waiting. Okay, and there they go. Okay. <laughs> we take those. Very nice. Interesting list. Mardu Stoneblade. Game number four here. Did we win the die roll? Did we lose the die roll? We won the die roll. We're going to be on the play. Yes, always. What do we got? They revealed Kahira, so we can assume they're blue-white. Um, I mean, this hand has a cord. Has a haywire might. I think we can try it. We do have a halfling. But I don't like it. I don't particularly like this hand all that much. Unless I draw into a grist right next turn. I have, there's a grist on top of my library. I can hear it. No! Okay. Evoking a Solitude immediately. Pitching a Leyline Binding. Okay, no Grist. No Grist. So, let's play the Mortuary. Let's see what's on top. Definitely don't want that. Let's put that in the graveyard. Without the youngest wolf. Unfortunately, not anything exciting we can hold up next turn. Wait. Another land, okay. We can hold up, we're holding up for one here, but holding up for one doesn't really do anything. We're just going to attack for one.
there's no point in me playing out my Haywire Might because we know that they're a they're a late line binding deck, so Haywire Might is good, but I don't want to run my Haywire Might into a prismatic ending. They play tap land, they keep a card on top. Let's also do the same. What do we have on top here? Okay, put that in the graveyard. Get that out of here. Another halfling. Hmm. I mean, if I play the halfling, I feel like they have to counter it. So it could be good at baiting out a counter spell. Or they have a removal spell. Oh, they could have Supreme Verdict, I guess. Still get in for one here. Make it look like we don't have a Court of Calling in our hand. Okay. Let's get one of these. That's a good draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I could court for Yogmoth. I just feel like they're very clearly representing Counterspell. It's going to be very obvious if I shock it in and then pass that I have a, a cord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I still have to threaten it. Mm, okay. I mean, so they have a counter spell here. Maybe? Or they could they could either have a counter spell here or they could have a binding. Wow, really? Okay. Um, I want to keep my halfling, so I think I'm just going to say this is fine. They reveal prismatic ending. Okay, well, either young wolf or halfling is leaving. It's going to be halfling. I, there's no point in me sacking this because I've already drawn a card, so no, I would just be losing a life for nothing. Let's go to combat here, immediately attack the Narset. Play out Young Wolf number two. Draw some more cards here. Oh, hello. They're not holding a binding, so I guess I could try to go for it. Hey, okay, wow. Very interesting. I guess they just... I don't know what happened there. They just didn't have anything, maybe? Alright, so blue-white. Control. Definitely want Thought Seizes in versus them. That's one of the reasons why I like having Thought Seizes, is for this matchup. It's really good against blue-white. Take out two walls. Take out two walls, take out Hapatra, take out Zulaport. They're just not that good. They're... Hapatra and Zulaport are cards you really don't want to be seeing versus blue-white. just want to control the board. And then we can bring in... Wait, what? Oh, I see, I see, okay. Uh, then we bring in... Where are my cards? Two Thoughtseize, Reclamation Sage, and then two Force, because they are a Leyline Binding deck. And we want to be playing at instant speed, so we bring in these. Nope. Alright. Oh! One lander. They're keeping seven. This would be pretty strong if we had two lands, but I don't think we can keep on the strength of one land. We have to throw this back. Um, 
this is also kind of meh. I think we have to keep this one, though. Maybe we put back the Force. Uh, maybe we put back the Cauldron, actually. I think I like that. Just in case they have Cursed Totems, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I, Yawgmoth number two is not what I want to see here. With the Mortuary, we need to look for lands or creatures. It's technically a creature. I guess I'll keep that. It's a mana dwarf. Let's play the Wall of Roots. Play the Gilded Geese. Hopefully they just go for a Teferi next turn. Blue. Oh, Island Cycling. Sure. They get an Island. Yield through the turn. Island, Island. Island. Triple Island. Okay, Narset. That's fine. What are they trying to get here? They get a Reprieve, which they can't cast at the moment. Evoking a Solitude. Very aggressive. Exiling the Reprieve. Okay. Okay. Yagmoth number three is definitely what I did not want to see here. Um... I do think we have to get this Narsa off the field, so I'm going to down tick here. I'll do it now. The prismatic ending for Grist. Oh, it's so brutal. Land. <laughs> Bro, come on. I like Yogmoth, but not this much, man. Jesus Christ. I forgot to shuffle my deck, dude. Ay, ay, ay. No, okay, I'm conceding. Oh my god. Disgusting. Okay, a little unfortunate. Uh, I think we're just going to run it back here. I think Yogg wants you to play him. Hmm. Maybe. The odds of that are pretty insane. Yeah, I started with one in hand. And then I drew the next three. Ay, ay, ay. Pretty solid. Play out the halfling. Okay. Immediately, just complete. This opponent has complete respect for halfling, as they should, understandably. Pitching Supreme Verdict. Mill over a Counterspell. Interesting. I could play out Wall. We could get down a Shield Rid if I do that. Um, yeah, I think I want to play Wall first here. Are you liking two Surveil Lands? 100%. I love, I love the two Surveil Lands. I think they're great. All right, so now that they don't have two mana up, I'm 100% slamming this uh, shield rid. Okay, triple tap lens, what I like to see. Very good, but I don't think we're going to play that here, actually, because they are representing Counterspell now. So we're just going to do the beatdown. 
I'm not even going to play out the second wall here because I don't want to play too hard into a Supreme Verdict. So I'm just going to play this tap land here. Don't need that. Throw that away. And then pass the turn. Yep, this feels either like a ring or a Supreme Verdict. Supreme Verdict, they're both fine. Like, we could, we'll bounce back from both. Supreme Verdict, that's fine. So we'll just float a mana here. Flash in the Bowmasters. Exactly why I said I don't want to play out too hard. Ooh. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Because now is a chance to resolve Yogmoth, but Grist is a lot harder for them to deal with. Mm, I guess they're both equally hard, but I guess Grist doesn't die at a Supreme Verdict, though they already used two. So, mm, go to combat. Let's play Yogmoth. Really good draw. Let's go to combat attack. This feels like a solitude. Oh, maybe a leyline binding. Blue, white. Binding, that's fine. What are they going to hit here? Mm, I mean, oh, yeah. What, what are they going to hit? Of course, they're going to hit y'all. I'll, I'll draw a card. I don't want to hit a land here. Kind of like a land. Um, I can use this to get a Haywire Mite later. So this is fine. They can take it. So we have two options here. I kind of wanted to draw a land because I could bait with the Grist and then play the Cauldron. I could just try to Raw Dog the Cauldron. Or Raw Dog the Grist. I think I want to do that. They do have the counter spell. Oh, they have a reprieve. That's fine. I have nothing I can do here, so I'll just pass the turn. This is a prismatic ending. It's fine. Miss a land drop. Mortuary. Let's go to combat first. So they know we have this. I think I'm going to play the wall first because they know we have Grist. So better to play the wall. And if I play the Grist first, then I can't play the Cauldron. So we'll try to play the Grist that they know about. They do have the Counterspell this time. We'll play out the Mortuary. Beseju. I think I'm going to keep that on top. Blue, 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 four blue, five blue. Oh, they're just going to draw three. Okay, that's fine. So this gives us a window. They didn't hit a land. Interesting. This gives us a window to play the cauldron. Then hit grist with it. Putting the counter on the wall of roots here. They have a solitude. Um, this is fine. Can I win here? I think I can win here. So, this is going to happen. Oh, they're doing it on the orc army? Okay. So, solitude dies. That's fine. 
So I could besage you here. I can I? Oh, they said something in chat. Oh, sir. Does a plus one and a minus one counters negate each other? Yes, they do. I'm just trying to see if I can kill here so I can cord for... One, two, three, four. No, I can't. I would need, I'm missing one mana because I need the legendary creature to hit the binding. I can court for Hapatra, I think. I'm trying to see if there's a world where I can kill here. One, two, three, four, five. But then I'm missing a land if I go get that. So I'm just seeing if it's worth it to hit the Yogmoth. What if I hit the Yogmoth? get the Yogmoth on the field, and then I have... Oh, wait, no, it works if I hit the Yogmoth first, right? One, two, and then I have one, two... One, two, then I have one, two, three, four. And then sack here. I think this works. Oh, I don't have Zulaport, man. Ah, I took him out. It's fine. Uh, oh, I can kill him. I can kill them with... No, I can't kill them with Strangaroo. Damn it. Oh, I misplayed. Uh, but I can draw a shit ton of cards. So I'm going to play Strangaroo. I'm going to get Strangaroo Geist. Can't proliferate. Got an ignoble? No, I do not. I have a gilded goose. Do I even have a forest left in my deck? I do not. I have a planes and when you besage you if I got island I forgot to play that oh, I see how's the matchup against Amulet Titan um Pretty good. I think it's pretty good. So 
white, go green. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. Shield was in the graveyard. Is Storm's Wrath something you'd be scared of? In the sideboard, yeah. Oh, I could endurance it into my deck. That's true. I was thinking about just getting a, a Haywire Might here. But yeah, that's actually better. My opponent's just chatting to me, sorry. I got two ring activations, I think Vert hit back and I played the planes in moonlight. Alright, sorry about that. Is Storm Vat okay, sorry, I was uh, my opponent was chatting to me. I usually don't talk to them, but I usually don't talk to opponents when streaming or playing games, but they seem pretty friendly, so I was I was chatting with them a little bit. Alright. Game number five people in the dialogue, like, wait, first, boom, yes, always. What do we got? Oh. A beautiful hand. We're going to keep it. So good. Why can't I get a hand like this every time, dude? That's what I'm saying. I want a hand like this every game. Please. Is that, is that so much to ask for? I don't want to be drawing four Yawgmas in a row. Unless I can, unless it's, unless it's reasonable. Play out the halfling, pass the turn here. Oh. Opponent said something to me in the shot. They said, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I don't know who this is. Oh. So it looks like the mirror match. Just gonna play out Grist. We do have a cauldron. They have a a patra. Ooh, okay. A patra into halfling, sure. Oh well. <laughs> Sometimes you're just better. Sometimes you're just better. So I was going to play Cauldron. I was going to down tick take out Hapatra. But I think we just plus here and play Yogmoth. Plus here, play Yogmoth, take out Hapatra, I think is the play. Yeah. Oh! I'm so good. I'm so good at League of Legends. One, two, three, four.
I think I will take out his halfling as well. Young Wolf, sure. If they play a Grist here, this is totally fine. You got it. I think I'll keep the Beseju in my hand. I think the play is just, what, Cauldron? Just play Cauldron, play Young Wolf, I think. Get back for a Dried Arbor here. I think it's okay. They do have the Yog. Target here, sacrifice here. Okay. But I know you wait for me. Hello, nice music. Oh, thank you. I like it too. I'm going to keep that land on top so we can have some more shenanigans here. So there's a lot of things we can do here. I think the biggest thing I want to do is start off by let's proliferate. We're going to discard Grist. i do here, here, here. I could plus their wolf to make it awkward for them too. But I don't want to make their wolf bigger because I'm going to kill their Yawgmoth this turn. Joe! Hey! How you doing, Joe? This is, um, Macro Blank. So they, they like, do, they do mix-ups and stuff. It's called Macro Blank Jams. Looks like this. They just take, they take samples and stuff. Uh yeah, I don't th I don't think I want to make their wolf bigger. So let's do this. Let's get the grist. Put on the insect token. Plus here. Plus here. Let's down tick here. That's fine. Is he putting a counter on something?
Sacrifice the insect token. Kill that. I'm not a bowmaster right now, so we can get the plus. Okay, your turn. I mean, we had a pretty insane hand. Jeez. <laughs> it was really, really strong. Wall of Roots, you got it. Okay. That was a little bit. Yeah, it was a little insane. So they're 100% dead. So we're just going to proliferate a bunch. How many times can I proliferate? I can proliferate. Do I have any mana dorks? I do. So I can proliferate. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, they're dead. Uh, do they have a halfling? I'll take their halfling. Put it here. Here, here. We're going to proliferate. Discard a card, proliferate. Going to discard a card, proliferate. One, two, three, four. Going to discard a card to proliferate. Okay, there we go. Oh, pretty good game one. So the mirror, finishing off this league with the mirror, we just want legions and fatal push. And I think we just take out endurance, we take out strangle root, we take out gilded goose, run it back. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I was drawn really, really hot. Goddamn. I had the grist on turn two. I had the cauldron in my hand for backup. I drew into the Yawgmoth. It was ugh, pretty strong. Ooh, one lander, huh? They're mulling to six. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Triple endurance. Well, I'm just doing that because they want. I wanted to try scavenging use main board this league. And then I wanted to, I just wanted to put a card in the sideboard. And that's the only one I could think of. I could have put a veil of summer in. That's like another card I could have put in. Lighted Halfling, huh? Okay, I will draw a land. That's not a land. Um, it's like I have to play that or I do that. I mean, I think I just have to Fatal Push this thing. I have a wall. They could have a wall. They could have a cauldron. Wall. Okay. Pretty good. Oh, okay. That's pretty strong. Um, I think I need to play the halfling here. I don't want to run out the cauldron just yet. Yeah, I need to play out the halfling. I guess I do. No, because what if I play the haywire, my... That I can exile. Next turn I can exile the cauldron. But that doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, hey, where am I?
Dog buff number two. We'll start off by playing the Cauldron. <laughs> of all the lands to draw, yeah. I mean, they don't even have triple black for Yawgmoth. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. They're one off of Cord. I'm doing this more as to bait them to use the Haywire mic, because if they do, then that's like... Uh, that's less Cord count for them. Young Wolf, okay. I feel like they really need their cord count. I'm not going to activate the cauldron. I think we're just going to go to my turn. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I'm not going to target the Haywire Might because they can just activate it. Let's move, pass through the turn here. They do have... A, they're going to activate that now. Um, so then what do I want to eat from their graveyard? I guess I don't want them to have a Haywire Might, so I guess I'll just exile it. Oh, shit. Okay, I accidentally passed through my turn. Did not mean to do that. I think we're okay, though. Okay, cool. Not punished, not punished. Let's play out the Wall of Roots here. Let's play out the Halfling. I do want to draw some more cards. Let's just sacrifice stuff. I feel like I have more than enough mana, so I'm going to do this. Okay, they do the bow master now, which is they didn't do it before, which is weird. Target me. I'll just do this. Other cauldron's pretty good. Another besage is not ideal. I guess I could be attacking. Yeah, I should be attacking, actually. Okay, that's really good. So let's play this. Let's play the cauldron. Do this. Let's play the queen, the queen herself. And then we can just forward wipe. Hey, wrap it up, wrap it out up, put in a bow and eat it. Question in the previous game, why did you tap creature to make mana instead of proliferating with land and attacking? Um, so because I was, my main focus there was to just, I was going to proliferate all my creatures because I was proliferating, I was increasing their loyalty counter. So the goal was not to attack. The goal was to proliferate them all to five and then just ultimate four times with Grist. That was the win condition. Hey, thank you, guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very nice. Clean 5-0. Trophy number six. W. Very nice. Yeah, they had two creatures. Like at, at at that point in the game, we were very far ahead, right? It was it didn't really matter what we were doing. We, I was kind of just playing through the motions because my, my opponent didn't want to surrender. So I just figured, okay, 
Well, I'm just going to do the guaranteed kill here by ulting four times with Grist. So. <laughs> I mean, they had nothing in hand. They just had a Strangle Root in play and a Wall of Roots. But it's like, okay, they have to go to combat. They might, I might not even have lethal because they're at, they were at like 12 life or 13 life. So, yeah, I'd, I'd rather just get the guaranteed kill there. Okay, list feels pretty solid. I did not miss the fourth Bowmaster that much. Scavenging Ooze, unfortunately, didn't have any time to shine. It was in our hand in that in the first game against Yogmoth, but we just had so much gas. We all the everything else in our hand was so much more gas than the, the scavenging ooze. We didn't really have a chance to play it, but having a, having it still was pretty good. What's the idea with Gilded Goose? I think it's if if so. If your choice is between Gilded Goose, Birds of Paradise, and Ignoble Hierarch. Which one of these, if you only have one copy of these cards, of these mana dorks, which one is the most versatile? It's not Birds of Paradise. You can argue that it's ignoble, but I would highly, I would strongly disagree. And in my opinion, the answer is Gilded Goose. Now, counter to that, Gilded Goose is the worst mana dork to rely on. Yes, that's true. However, when was the last time you had to rely on a single mana dork to get you through a turn? Like most, most, we can't even afford to do that nowadays in most matchups, right? So I like Gilded Goose because it has two toughness. So it dodges Bowmaster. Uh, it makes food, which is actually relevant in burn matchups, which ac it actually won me my invite to Tacoma or to San Francisco because I was against burn and I put a goose under a cauldron two times and gained like 30 life. It was so awesome. Oh, who is that? Plytooth Ape. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. The goose gives it more value with cauldron. Exactly. So, like, you have... Oh, the resub. Oh, three months. Three months. Yeah, thank you very much. The, um... Yes, so, if you have a one-of ignoble... Like, when I, back when I played ignoble as a one-of, I don't even remember the last time I got an exalted trigger. It, it like, it, it was so negligible, right? So, but if you're, if you're, if you're playing only one extra mana dork, I think the best one to choose is Gilded Goose. And that's just the card that I like the most. That's just, that's my opinion. I missed playing against a birthday player yesterday that you beat on Saturday by not courting for Goose like an... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you beat, uh, you went up against the guy that I faced? Oh, no. <laughs> He's a pretty good burn player. Yeah, it was brutal. I just had, I had Cauldron plus Goose in my hand in games two and three, and he just couldn't do anything. It was great. The Exalted Triggers were more relevant when Geist was a 4 of... Oh yeah, 100%. I loved, are you kidding me? I, I loved having 4 Ignobles in my deck. I, I would slam 4 Ignobles. I had one of each different type of art. Boom. Get in there. 3 Exalted Triggers. Hit you for 7. With Dross Messenger. Oh, so good. But we're not, we're not at that time anymore. We're not, playing, we're not playing at that time. Open the chests. You want me to open the chests? My person in Christ. I have 407 chests. I don't think I'm going to be opening those. <laughs> the guy's beat down. Yes, sir. Now, okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys in on a little secret. I might be doing a little bit of a chest opening when MH3 comes around. When, when MH3 drops on Magic Online, I think I will open all of my chests. I think that'll be fun. I think we can have a big stream... I, I, would, I can make it a big deal. Be like, oh my god, I'm going to open all these chests. And we can open it all at once. It'll be great. Am I going to be losing $800? Yes. But it's going to be fun. <laughs> can Gerald's Messenger make a comeback? No. No. I wish it could. I really wish it could. But it cannot. It's too slow. I always need that Gilded Goose to generate mana. I don't have food. I hate this. Return to Noble. No, it's, I've never, it's and like, yes, it does happen sometimes, but most of the time, you, you almost never get to untap twice with, with Gilded Goose, or with, like, with any one drop Mana Dork, right? It's very rare that you untap and you can do it multiple times, right? And when you do, most of the time you're not relying on it to carry you through your mana, right? You have, you're drawing lands, you have a wall of roots, you, you have other things to do with your mana. So the scenarios where Gilded Goose has, has screwed me over has been very, very little. I think it's been, there's been like maybe one time where it screwed me over playing any fortnite no i don't i don't play fortnite i don't i don't have that game installed on my computer the grit speed down is the best it's so good the guy speed down yes it's always so good i love it 
Mm. But I hope everyone has a nice rest of your night, and I will see you all next time I see you.